When I think about the difficult patients, these are previous multiple attempts, ultrasound was used, edematous patients, chemotherapy, obesity, age, you know, older age generally, or even super young age, like less than two years of age, like one to two years of age, kids are really difficult cannula. They've got so much fatty tissue on board. Dark skin people as well can be difficult, repeated hospitalizations. Chemo is one of the worst really, like they have such tiny fragile veins. In the worst case scenarios and in short cases, I'll put the cannulas in the feet, the wrists. This may not be appropriate for the ward, but when you've got nothing else to go with, we just go for those sites. When you're starting out, you're not gonna be able to get these cannulas straight away and that's okay, but make sure you order a pick line straight away. A cannula lasts for three days max, difficult IV patient is gonna be there for two weeks, some flucoxacillin for you know some kind of heart valve endocarditis. Get that pick line referral and it'll make your time and everyone's time and the patient's time much, much more pleasant. How long does the cannula last? 72 hours max? We'll make sure that everyone knows how long it's been in.